Hey everybody, Brian here again, PNB Homestead. He wanted to grab the camera and take you over here to show you the large grow tent. We've got quite a few uh, peppers that are set on these little sweet pepper plants. And I cut back on the water and you can see the, the new green growth is really starting to go. So there's a lot of pepper set back in here. A bunch that are starting to turn. We'll be ready for this week's dinners. A lot of them on this one here, starting to turn color. Get that nice yellow. As you can see, you know, the difference in cutting back on the water. The leaf growth really comes out nice and green in these, uh, these ones that were a little sickly looking. They start to burn off and they drop, so you can tell it's starting to look a lot greener in here. I forgot to water the, uh, the big pepper this weekend, or this last couple days, because I felt the soil and it felt like it was still wet, but it got, got a little bit of a drought, so it's kind of <laughs> in recovery mode now. And then the, uh, the plants back there, I'm just doing a little uh, drought test to see what'll happen if I uh, cut back the water on some of the trays. So I kind of put more water in the front and less in the back just to see what'll happen because I've got so many peppers in here that I just wanted to kind of play around. And so then this tray, I'm letting it dry out just to see what happens, you know, the further back the water gets, the more to the front. So just little experiments. I get kind of bored in the weekends. <laughs> during the week and the evenings. I want to play with these plants and just see what I can do. And then uh, this tomato plant, you can see there's a lot of, you know, fruit set. The ones that we were pointing out last week, they're getting a little bigger. So they're, you know, about the size of a, I don't know, a nickel now. For other viewers, that's about, you know, that big. That's a U.S. currency, hard currency. But uh, there's a lot of fruit set coming back in here. So we're going to have a nice Nice re second, second harvest off of this plant here because that's all new growth coming back in here. Down in here, we've harvested off all the red tomatoes. I did share some with Paula. There's one, one left down here that I left. It's still a little yellow, so I didn't take it for last night's meal. But there's a lot of, a lot of fruit down in here still that's waiting to ripen. You can see that's going to be nice all the way up through spring. And maybe early summer, we're going to be still harvesting off of these plants because you know, there's a lot of growth still happening. And I'm looking forward to having tomatoes all the way up until we get our outdoor tomatoes actually coming on. So, I mean, you can see here's some that we're going to be able to harvest this week. There's a couple there. There's another one there. So, we've got about, you know, about five, five tomatoes that will be ready for our salads this week. Maybe not for the kale salad that we're going to have tonight, but that's okay. But, you know, we can always, you know, take one of these red peppers because they're a green pepper, but they're, you know, they're green and they're kind of red. So, I could take some of those those back there and we could actually eat those for dinner tonight. I don't know. Lots of options when you grow your own food inside the indoors in the uh, over the winter and in the spring. So all right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this update. This is the large grow tent here on PNB Homestead. Talk to you again. Bye.